Okay. Two, one and a half more legendaries, and I can make a new mythic. All right. Let me go farm some endless for those items. Hey, little plebeians, it is Sister Card here. Hopefully you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. We are back today in Blade Quest. I'm hitting the wrong buttons because I wanted to show y'all probably the best item farm and the strat that I use in order to get an insane amount of drops. So, and the strat that I use running through because I have taken the time to learn what arrow hits. Things like that. So let's do the normal video intro stuff. If you haven't already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the like button and do the same thing with the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. And our beautiful pleb of the day is Prince Tennis. Thank you. Thank you. I don't, I've never played tennis, but thank you for your love and support. I greatly appreciate it. <laughs> so we're going to go over how I get items and I've pretty much gotten three full legendaries in the past day and a half and how I do it strictly doing endless. So first of all, you are going to need a speed three potion. It doesn't matter what level because guess what? Speed three is always plus 20 no matter what level it is. This could be a level one speed three potion and it will have the same effect. The next item I'm going to recommend you have is Arrow Rain, either Arrow Rain or Lightning, because the strat I'm going to be giving you is for Arrow Rain because it, it, it hits five targets and especially clearing the low level areas, that's super, super important. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go run through it real quick. Normally, I'm going to kind of tell you when I'm doing stuff because we're going to be going quick. Because how you get items in Endless is for every boss you defeat and then whatever room you exit on is the max level of item you can get. So I have to bare minimum to get items my level. I have to beat third boss in two rooms after because that is this level 65 room. So I'm going to show you what I do. I can roughly pull this off in about four to five minutes. Easy. So we're going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to kind of talk about it while we're running. And at the end of the video, I will add up together how much, basically, if you do the strat, you do not have to be as high level as I am. It does require that you be level 25 in order to enter this dungeon. So you would just need to go to whatever boss would drop the item for you. So uh, each of the mob rooms actually has a little bit of a different strat in each of them when I'm using arrow. So I'm kind of not going to explain it too much of this run. We probably will do a second run. And I will kind of explain why I'm doing what. As you can see, I'm killing certain mobs and then running past them and then continuing on. But yeah, we're one room away from the next boss. So I will say that the ghost area is probably the slowest part of my run when I am doing these speed runs in order to get items. I know I've carried several of y'all that watch my videos. So Naga is dead. We're on to the next one. Yeah, I really don't like the ghost rooms because of just how the AI works. I mean, I could pull the mid-tier mid -tier guys over to the high-end guys, but I have to wait for them to move, and I really, really don't want to do that. So we actually are a little under halfway done, though, because we do need to get to the third boss. So that guy did not pull. Let's be a little slower. But mind you, this is my strat for my level. Uh, this strat was working actually really well when I was like level 50 and if you can only get to the second boss That's fine too guys. This is just me showing you how quickly you can get it It is much preferred if you do the stuff that is at your level like doing the dungeons because you will get far more XP than doing this I just do this because it's a lot easier way for me to farm for items Because I can't get items anymore at my level unless I do endless and remember, you have absolutely no chance of getting a mythical while doing this right now. Maybe rain will add it at a different point. Maybe rain, please. I understand why not, though, because that would make this absolutely broken. And if you're wondering where my points are at, I have them all in spell because I'm really just needing the mobs to die at this point. And we are at level 53, so stuff is going to slow down for this part of us. But it's all right. All right, boss time. Just gonna sit on him. Come on. 
Come on, I need out of Yoda Clump up. If y'all notice, I'm not really caring about getting hit. I'm not attempting to dodge because here's the deal. The room after this, once we kill all these mobs, I will be resetting. So I'm not too particularly concerned with uh, my health. As long as I have enough to kill these three guys right here, that's all that matters. And once I get the area opened up and we're done and reset. Three minutes and 40 seconds. Now, I have extra item pass on, so I would have gotten just three items. So if you are going just to the third boss, which is level 56, three items every three minutes and 40 seconds. Let me pull out my calculator. Let's pull out the calculator, guys. Okay, so we're going to say 60 divided by four, because it was about four minutes. So we can do 15 runs roughly in an hour. So 15 times 30 is equal to 45 items minimum an hour doing that. If you can get to third boss. If you can just get to second boss, but you are still able to move at a pretty decent clip and be able to keep up where you should. I mean, I you should be able to. If you're just getting to second boss, you should be able to. So I'm going to show you all what strats I used in order to do that as quickly as I did. So I'm going to go get in yet another run and kind of talk you through a little bit more of it. I don't think I have anything good to combine. No. Okay, so I've loaded a new lobby. I have my speed potion. So what you're going to start is you're immediately going to hit your speed. We're going to zip up the stairs. I'm going to take this nice and slow. So when you run into this first room, right about the basketball, you're going to hit the button. So the button's going to kill all of them except for this target dummy. Every single time, it will never kill the target dummy. So when you're running into this room, guys, you need to speed. If you didn't notice, that always stop. Swipe once and kill him, and then I'd zip on over to the third tier mobs. And then once they are dead and the door drops, you go to the next room. Now for this room, I the minute I would cross, I would say this area right here, I would hit arrow and kill the front guys. I'd stop, I'd swing, I'd swing, and I'd swing. I hit speed over to the bat lords. I swing, I swing, I swing, and I wait for my speed potion to recharge while we're going up the stairs. So again, we have this room. I'm going to stop and kill him because my arrow is not going to kill him and the door is down. Now for this room, you're going to hit it right about this tree. You see this bee right here, this one that was in that back left corner? You have to kill him because for whatever reason, arrow will not target him. It never does. It part of the mob selection, it doesn't hit that. So I'm going to show it again. Once we get to uh, another room with it at. If you are able just to sit and farm the boss or sit on the boss and damage it, I would prefer that honestly than having to continuously sit there and, you know, do ranged attack. Um, first boss does about 500 hit. Second boss does about 1800 hit. Third boss does about 3000 hit. 300 a hit. So if you can kind of calculate how long it's going to take you to kill each of them, then you don't need to stand off to the sidelines. So I'm gonna hit it right here. I'm gonna kill this bumblebee. I'm gonna move on. And arrow has taken out the others. So it'll be the one when they have this little triangle right here. The three that stand right here, you're gonna to wanna to attack this one and then we're gonna move on. That's all I do guys. Stand here, swing, swing. And when I get to the point where I can't one shot the mobs anymore, I may have to stand there an extra time and even my arrow, which is level 65 at my level, will not kill these middle tier guys once I get level 50 plus floors. So they're all dead, and we are now on to the second boss. I'm gonna let the second boss hit me real quick. Oh, he only does about 600. Okay, he's not too bad. So second boss does 600 damage. So keep that in mind when you're fighting him. And we're just gonna swing on the training dummies and keep going. Guys, it's really simple. I farm so many items like this. This is how I carry most of y'all. And this is easily doable once you can defeat basically the third boss. I mean, you can even go to second and you can reset right there and then come back in. Because here's the deal. I slow down once I hit probably level 50. I just have to slow down just because I can't one-shot anything anymore. So if you're just having to go to second boss because of your level, 
That's fine too. This is meant just to be an item farm, guys. This is not meant to be like uber uber xp grinder although this is really nice for low levels if you're getting carried to the higher tiers or if you're a high level and you have aged out of dragon like i have the other reason you want speed boost is it does give you a momentary burst of attack and i am using time warp which i have been getting questions because i haven't had a recent enchant video or i didn't include like what the new op one is is uh time warp Use time warp because it makes things extra speedy. So this one will not be a good time because I had to stop and kind of explain some stuff. But even with doing that, we can go ahead and take a look to see at the time and go check out the rewards. So I just have to kill these guys in this room so I can kind of actually start backing up towards these. Now, if I wanted to, I could keep going to get some XP, but I really don't want to. And I have like two more videos to record tonight. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to kamikaze into these lovely flowers. You won't take me alive. Nope, I did. Four minutes, 50 seconds. That's still not bad. And I'm getting four items. Double item game pass. Is also really nice this is also a really good way to farm gold because you can constantly keep doing the runs over and over and over and over and over again and i get a ton of gold doing this guys an absolute ton so hopefully this video was helpful and hopefully you're able to have a lot more luck with endless i know some people have issues with it or don't know how to grind it so i want kind of wanted to give you all my tips and tricks you know make sure that in the toy room you're hitting the big bongo drum guy you're hitting the left big bumblebee if you're doing the B room, and then you have to kind of separate the ghost room into three parts. So just remember that. But thank you for making it to this part of the video. I greatly appreciate it, and I will see you all next time.